What it is, fight fans. So we got boxing this weekend, courtesy of Fox Sports Pay-Per-View, as Keith Thurman makes his return after a two-year layoff. Uh, facing now moving up to welterweight Mario Berrios uh, as he's coming off his first defeat uh, a knockout loss to Gervonta Davis so that's this weekend on Fox pay-per-view <laughs> so real quick man, I'm gonna I, I'm I got a series of videos I'm gonna come out with because I mean it's been a chaotic past couple of weeks man just on a personal tip nothing bad but a lot of changes <laughs> so um listen the the, the heavyweight division as it concerns trying to consolidate uh, the division to have one undisputed champion, which is something we haven't had since Lennox Lewis. And I mean, listen, let's go back, man. I mean, I'm not going to go far back in detail, but I mean, we've been trying to have this since around the time when Wilder and Fury I'm sorry, Wilder and AJ was the fight. And you had two guys that were both the champ. One was WBC champion. The other one was the unified champion. And again, I'm not going to get into the whole hoopla of, you know, people turning out contracts and things and such, but whatever. Fight never happened. But in the midst of all this, you know, Tyson Fury was the guy prior to all that that was the one that took the mantle away from Vladimir Klitschko. Um, granted, Fury had his, you know, his battle, you know, his, his demons he was battling with, and he overcame them. We we saw the three fights he had with Deontay Wilder, and in the midst of that, Anthony Joshua went through. Well, now he's hit two speed bumps in the road. One in Andy Ruiz, in which he covered that manhole. <laughs> and now, and then recently with, with Alexander Usyk, which is a, the proverbial, like, manhole that I don't know, at least right now, man, if he's going to be able to fully cover. But, I mean, we'll see about that. But we got to, step one, okay? <laughs> um, we were we were hearing about step-aside money for Anthony Joshua in, in the realm of $20 million, which is a lot of freaking money to have somebody not fight. Um, but through all that, Dillian White was being put as the number one Mando for the WBC. They went through, they, they went through you know, a lengthy, well, not lengthy, but postponement of, of the purse bid and what have you. And then, then finally went through and Frank Warren... Wins the purse bid at like what, like a, a reported forty-one million dollars, which is a lot of damn money. And from what I, from what I've seen, I can't fully confirm. My man sent me a post. I forgot who posted it, but basically, Fury's going to get obviously the the bigger share. Dillian White, I think, makes a record payday, but I think there's like a four million dollar remainder for the win whoever win like the total purse is 41 million but the winner gets like four million extra a part of that pie if that makes any sense so this is the first step in what a lot of us think is going to be uh culminating in an undisputed heavyweight champion hopefully by by the end of the year now look dealing look, you know, I, I see people like kind of shitting on this fight, but I'm like, the thing about heavyweight boxing historically, okay, is it's the one division where the skill set at times doesn't have to be that far apart for there to be some problems happening, okay? Which, meaning like a 200. 45 pound man hitting you is like it's just it's different than like a 147 pound man hitting you not to say welterweights can't hurt you but to the point we've seen dillian white you know we've seen him knocked out we've seen him hurt he's only had two losses to anthony joshua and and, and alexander pavetkin two of the top heavyweights in the last 10 12 years so we can't look at this as if like fury um, or, or, or I should say, we can't look at this as Dillian, as in Dillian White, not having any chance at all in this fight. Fury should be the favorite. He's the bigger guy. He's the better boxer. He's rangier. 
You know he's going to use the jab most of the fight to at least kind of ward off uh, Dillian White, who you got to be mindful of his power. And and also, too, you know, Fury, let, let's not let's not act like he's not been dropped four times in the last three fights. So it's, again, things to consider. But, I, I like, I'm somebody that, like, if, if this is the fight we're going to get before an undisputed title fight, like, I'm all for it. Like, let, why not? And if they, they're going to obviously do it in the UK, right? That's going to be big over there. That fight's gonna be really, really big over there. So they're they're saying April. Um, they they haven't signed the contracts yet. The, Frank Warren won the purse bid, but that doesn't mean the fight is signed yet. So, th which I'm sure it's going to be, and that will take care of one half of of the of the culmination of being a disputed champion. Because following that, you know, we still, as I'm making this video, we have no confirmation like. Has Uzik found a trainer? I mean, sorry, has AJ found an official trainer? Have they gone into deep negotiations for this fight? When's it going to happen? It doesn't look like April is the time. Like, when are they going to make this fight? So, there's just a lot of question marks. I mean, Joshua turned down the... He turned down the money. It's like, all right, so now what? Are you going to take the fight? <laughs> so, we'll have, we'll have to wait and see. But they're, they're targeting April. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that might happen... A little later I I'm not 900% that's a big fight to prepare for April you know and we're already in February you know what I'm saying so but we'll see I, I mean I think regardless is gonna happen um I I just think it is it, it's, it's just a timing thing so let me know what you think man Tyson Fury Dillian White obviously likely you know happening in the UK why wouldn't it um, and, and then from there, we got to see whenever Usyk and Joshua is situated. And then from that point, man, I, I, I want to be optimistic and say that by the end of this year, we are going to have an undisputed heavyweight champion. I would hope, right? <laughs> so let me know what you think. Tyson Fury, Dillian White, uh, likely heading to April. Let's just say May, May, you know, at the end of the month, who's, who knows? But it looks like it's happening. So let me know what you think. Does Dillian White have a chance to knock out Tyson Fury? Because to me, that's the only way I think he's going to beat him. But that's why we got to watch the fight. So let me know what you think, man. Happy Friday. Uh, I'll be coming back tomorrow, uh, you know, following the fights in case there's some fuckery that happens. Uh, but, you know... Um, check my prediction video out on the fight. Uh, I really didn't do a prediction, just a preview of uh, Thurman Barrios. It's, you know, my video section. So I am out. Enjoy your day.